welcome to this session we are going to construct minimal weighted spanning trees by using kruskal's and prim's algorithms and last session we are explained kruskal's algorithm and we are going to discuss one more problem on kruskal's algorithm after that we'll go for the prim's algorithm now one example eight cities a b c d e f g and h eight cities are there cities are represented with a b c d s up to h and these cities are connected with a new railway track railway network the possible tracks and the cost of involved Lay down them in crores of rupees are mentioned in the table. So, what is the expenditure? What is the expenditure? Track expenditure between one city to another city is mentioned. Determine now. We are going to find out the minimal railway network of minimal cost that connects all these cities. Determine a railway network. Of with minimal cost that connects all the these cities. So here it given track between A and B cities, and the cost is mentioned as one fifty five crores. A and D, and lay down for a railway track. Railway track between these cities are mentioned like this. The cost is one forty five crores of rupees. So, like this, the data is given between one city to another city. If you are going to lay a railway track, what is the approximate cost, or what is the cost incurred? So, that is given between all cities are mentioned. Now, we are going to find a a path which is connecting from all one city to all the cities. That is nothing but a Minimal spanning tree we have to calculate. So for that, first of all we are going to find a network for this. Find a graph for this. We are going to find a graph for this. So after finding a graph for this, then only we are going to find a spanning tree for this. A spanning tree for this. Okay. So for that, we are going to find what is the spanning tree for this. What is the Spanning tree for this. so first of all, we have we have to construct a graph for this. Okay, so here it is given the cities and the costs are mentioned. So we are going to take it as first. Let us go for the cities we are going to represent A, B, A and B cities which are mentioned A, B. Let us say C. Then I am going to consider D, and next we are going to consider E, and we have to take F, and another city we have to consider G. We have to consider the city G, and we have to take the next city is H. Next city is H. We are taking eight cities are like this. Now A to B, the city, the nodes are represented as cities. Now the edges we are going to connecting A to B, connecting the uh, for that they are going to lay a railway network, railway track. For that the expenditure is one fifty five crores. That means the edges are the cost associated with the cost associated to lay down the railway track between the cities between the cities. Now A to B is over. Next A to D, A to D, A to D. It is one forty five is given. One forty five is given. A to D. This is also over. Now A to G. A to G. Let us. We are going to have A to G. 
it is 120. Then B to C, B to C, it is 145. Let us have B to C is 145. Then we have to consider G is, let us have a G is like this. I am just taking. So A and G is 120. Next C and D, C and D. So which is associated 150 crores of rupees. C and E, then it is associated 95. Then D and F, D and F, this is 100 crores. And E and F, E and F, this is uh, E and F. 150. Then F and G, F and G, which is 150. F and G is 150. F and G is 140. Sorry, F and G is 140. This is over. Next, F and H, F and H, this is 150. And next, F and uh, this is over. G and H, G and H. This is 160. So this is the network. This is uh, edges are associated with the cars and uh, vertices are represented as the cities. Represented as a cities. So we are going to represent this is a network diagram and uh, that is uh, nothing but the, the given graph. That is nothing but the given graph. So from this we have to find out what is a Spanning tree. What is a spanning tree? By using Kruskal's algorithm. By using Kruskal's algorithm. So, of course, this is the this is the uh, network which is going to be associated or uh, which we are mentioned here. And now, so from this, uh, we are going to step one. We are going to process step one is arranging the weights in uh, ascending order arranging the weights in ascending order. So we are going to consider the edges and the weights and whether we are accepted or not. We are accepted or not. Select or not the corresponding uh, edge. So now in this uh, the minimum weight that we have to consider minimum weight is uh, 95 will be there. So which is nothing but uh, C E edge. So, which is 95. Now, the next minimum is 100. So, DF. DF we have to consider 100. Next, one minimum weight is 120. So, we are considering the corresponding edge AG as 120. AG as 120. Next, we have to consider 140, the next highest. 140 which is nothing but uh, GF, which is nothing but GF. 140 is over. Now after 140, 145 is there, AD, which is nothing but 145. Then after that, 150 is there. So 150, HF will be, there are more. HF is 150. Then another one is uh, EF. EF is also 150. Then another one is a CD, is also 150. Is also 150. So 150 is are 3. Then the remaining is 145 is also over. So now 150 is are over. Then the next one is 155. So that is AB, which is having 155. And the next one is 160. 160. That is nothing but a GH. That is nothing but a GH. So which is 160. So step one is over. Now step two, we have to select. We have to select the edges. So first one I am going to select CE. I am going to select CE. So I am going to write CE. So CE, which is 95 is selected. So how many were uh, vertices is having number of uh, vertices. Number of vertices are nothing but a number of uh, cities. Eight cities are there. And uh, how many number of edges will be? One, two, three, four, five. Five to the ten and eleven edges are there. So 
That means we are going to consider 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 here, 5 here, 10 and 11. Number of edges are 11. Number of edges are 11. So I have to select, I have to select, then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. One more is missing. One more is missing. 95, 100, 120, 140, 145 are 2. 145 are 2 are there. So here 145 we are just missing. So I am going to write. So here I am going to write AG 140 which is nothing but 140. Where is 140 is a GF GF which is 140 and AD is considered and BC is not considered. So I am taking BC which is 145. 145. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 edges. Okay. Now uh, C is over. Next uh, DF we have to consider. What is the DF is? Uh, we are going to take this. So no problem for me to consider this edge because there is no loop is going to be formed. So DF we have to consider whose weight is 100. Next AG 120. A and G. This is also no problem. And we have to consider AG which is 120. Then another one is GF. GF. Where it is GF. So GF also I am going to consider. Which is no problem for me to consider. So GF. We are going to take GF. So GF is 140. Then another one is BC. BC I have to consider because there is no problem for constructing BC edge. So which is 145. Then another one is AD. I am not going to consider this. And I am going to consider HF. Where is that HF? Uh, HF. Okay. I am going to consider this. HF. So it is nothing but 150. And next EF. E F E F E E F I can consider E F I am considering 150. So I am going to consider 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and one more is required. C D. One more is required. How many edges? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 6, 7 is over. So here number of edges in this spanning tree is uh, 8 minus 1. So 7 edges are over. Now this is over. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. This is over. Now, so 7 edges are going to be considered. Then after that, we have to, while considering this, there is no loop is going to be formed. Then the weight of the spanning tree is, weight of the spanning tree is, spanning tree. That is the total expenditure is, total expenditure is. So what do we have? 120 plus 140 plus 150 plus 100, 150, 100 plus 150, then plus 95, plus 145. If you are going to add all the things, then whatever the possibility is, 900. So we are going to get 900 is the minimal uh, cost uh, for laying the railway track between the cities of a state. So this is the uh, minimal weight. Suppose uh, if I am not considering EF, EF I cannot consider and I can consider this also. I can consider this also. In that case, I am going to get, I am going to get another shape, another shape of a spanning tree, but the weight is will be the same. But weight will be the 
same. So I can say that I am having more number of span entries are going to possible with this weight. So earlier what we said, if I am not considering this edge, if I am going to consider this, I am going to wait uh, to weight is a 900. And if I am not considering this, this edge is going to be considered the same way I am going to wait, but the shape is different. So spanning trees are not unique. Sp minimal weighted spanning trees are not unique. We can get more than one uh, spanning tree for the corresponding same weight. So this is uh, another problem related to the uh, spanning trees. And now by using Kruskal's algorithm. Now we are going to uh, discuss uh, the Prim's algorithm. So another algorithm for finding a sparing tree, this is a Prim's algorithm. So step one is here, if G is a connected weighted graph with N vertices, so those vertices are V1, V2 and so on, Vn or A, B, C, D and so on. And uh, we are going to construct a table, a N by N table, N rows and N columns n rows and n columns and diagonal and diagonal elements. So there is no self loop. There is no self loop. We are not going to consider the weight of that weight of that. And uh, suppose uh, there is no entries in the appeared in the diagonal. So and if uh, any edge will not be there from one city to another city, then the non existing edges we are considering as infinity. So first of all, we have to create a n by n table. That is a n rows and n columns. n rows and n columns. Yes, suppose the graph is having, the graph is having n number of vertices, n number of vertices. Then we are going to consider, uh, we are going to consider n by n table. In that, the diagonal elements are not appear and uh, whenever one city to another city if there is no root then we are going to take it as uh, infinity then the step two is start from the one vertex wherever you are going to start so from that you are going to take that vertex and we are going to consider the minimum weighted neighbor minimum weighted neighbor suppose uh, from v1 row there is a v8 column V8 column is having a minimum number of uh, minimum weight, then we go for VI, VI row, VI row, that VI row we are calling it as VK. So VI and VK, VI and VK, from these two rows, we are going to select the minimum, the minimum entry, which we are not selected which we are not selected so that is nothing but a vm uh, vertex vm vertex and then once again we are going to select v1 row v8th row vk'th row and vm'th row among this whichever vertices you are not selected so and we have to consider the minimum weighted edge and from these three rows and we have to select the another vertex like that we have to select n minus 1 edges n minus 1 edges we have to repeat the same process we have to repeat the same process until we are going to get n minus edges whenever n minus edges we are going to get and see that there is, should not be any loop formation and the corresponding is nothing but the minimal um, weighted spanning tree minimal weighted spanning tree so step one is uh, we have to construct a n by n matrix and then where you are going to select which from which vertex you are going to select choose that go for the corresponding row and select the minimum weight the minimum weight let us say vk vk vertex and vi to vk edge we are going to select it and vi row and vk row we are going to select the next least weight next least weight exists at vmth vertex then we have to consider that vertex either from vi or vj vertex so the process will be continued till we receive we selected n minus n edges 
For selecting n minus m edges, see that it should not be formed any loop. It should not be formed any loop. Then whenever n minus 1 edges, if you are going to select, then it is the corresponding uh, minimal weighted spanning tree. So this is there in the Prim's algorithm. Now we are going to discuss uh, by taking an example. So now this is uh, the graph is given. G is a graph is given. Weighted graph. Now, step one is we have to construct a table. Here, how many vertices it is having? Five vertices it is having. So, we have to construct a five by five table. Five by five table. Five rows as well as five columns. So, here the row, all the rows are V1 to V5. And here column wise also we can consider as V1 to V5. These are the rows and these are the columns. Rows as well as the columns are nothing but the vertices. No, no, nothing but the vertices. Now, suppose V1 to V1 there is no edge. So we are taking it as a no entry will be there. V1 to V2, V1 to V2. So the weight of that is 4. So we are taking 4. And V1 to V5, V1 to V5, the weight is 5, so we are considering that. The remaining vertices are not reachable. So we are going to take infinity weight to that, infinity weight to that. Similarly, from V2 to V2 to, so if I am taking V2 to V3, there is an edge. So V2 to V3, I am just uh, uh, put that corresponding weight. And V3 to v, V2 to V5 is also edge. V2 to V5. So that is 1. So we put that value. And V2 to V4 is also having the weight 6. So we can consider the weight. And V2 to V, V1 to V2 to V1 is already there. 4. So that we can keep. And the V2 to V2 is not there. So we are put empty. So like this, we can form wherever the edge, wherever the weights are there to the corresponding node, to the corresponding vertex. So the put the corresponding weight. Whenever there is no edge, then put infinity in that. So like that, we can construct a, a table, a table, n by n table. A n is nothing but the number of vertices which the graph is having. And now we go for the Second step. Step two, we have to select. We have to select. So we have to select any one vertex, any one vertex. So I'm going to select. I'm going to uh, find the root node. I'm going to find from V1 vertex to the remaining. I'm going to calculate. So we are going to see that first row, first row, where is the minimum weight? Where is the minimum weight? Minimum weight occurred in V2. Occurred in V2. So you select that V2 vertex. So V1, V2. That means V1, V2. V1, V2 edge we are selected. V1, V2 edge we are selected. So we are going to write V1, V2. That means this edge is going to be selected. This edge is going to be selected. So for that, I am going to write V1 to V2 edge. V1 to V2 edge I selected. Now coming to the second row, coming to the second row. So second row, so this is already visited. Now among these uh, remaining entries, which is the least weight? Least weight is exists at V5. V5. So V2 to V5, we have to select. V2 to V5, we have to select. So from this V2 to V5, this node, this edge is also going to be selected. So V2 to V5 also selected. So first one is V1 to V2, or next one is V2 to V5 is selected. So now after that, this is also, see, we concentrate three rows. 
three rows. One V1 is one row, V2 is another row and V5 is another row. Among these three rows and select the minimum weighted. So minimum weighted is exist and which is the vertex is not. The vertex is not uh, traversed. So the, the minimum weight is V2 from V5 to V2. So I am going to select that. V5 to V2. So I am selecting that V5 to V2. Either this way or this way. V2 to V5 to V3. V5 to V3. So V5 to V3. Then I concentrated V5 also. Then I concentrated V5 also. See this visit, this uh, node is visited already. So I am not going to concentrate. So I am going to concentrate on only V4. Only V4. So here it is 6 and here it is 6. And next there is no, uh, here V5 is already, uh, is already visited. So I am not going to concentrate on that. I am not going to concentrate on that. So I removed that. And the remaining is among these two, either we can move from V2 to, or either we can move from V2 to V4, or we can move from V3 to V4. V3 to V4, because these two values are same. These two values are same. So I can consider, I can consider V2 to V4, V2 to V4, or V3 to V4. Or V3, either I can consider this edge, or I can consider this edge. Or I can consider this edge. So suppose if I consider the first case, V2 to, I am going to get the, this, uh, this edge. If I am considering the another one is, I am going to consider V3 to V4 path. So I am having two spanning trays, two spanning trays, T1 and T2. Any way you can consider two spanning trays I am going to get. Then the weight of a T1 spanning tree, the weight of a T1 spanning tree, 4 plus 1 plus 2 plus 6. So I am going to get 5, 7, 13. I am going to get here also T2 weight is weight of uh, T2, weight of T1. So here weight of T2 is 4 plus 1 plus 2 plus 6. So we are also having 13 is the weight. So the minimal weighted uh, spanning trees are not unique, but the weight is unique. The weight is uh, unique. So I am going to get uh, two spanning trees uh, of the same weight, of the same weight. So now go for the another uh, example. Uh, here I am taking the another example and uh, the graph is like this. So we have to construct, we have to construct a table. How many vertices, how many vertices the graph is having, the, the, uh, the graph is having. So here, how many vertices it is having from one is A. So A, B, C, D, E, F, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six by six uh, table we have to create. A, B, C, then D, then E, then F. This is six rows. One, two, three, four, five, six rows. And now we have to create the columns also six. A, B, then C, then D, then E, then F. So we created six rows as well as six columns, as well as six columns. So I am going to create. So I am just taking, yes, we are consider a table of this. Now from A, how many edges it is having weight A2, all the diagonal elements just to keep like this. And A to B is 1, this is over. A to B is 1 over. Next, A to F is 3. A to F is 3. And A to D is 1. And A to E is 3. A to E is 3. So, how many adjacent vertices it is having? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4. One more is there. One more is missing. A, B is there. A, D is also 1. 
and uh, three. A E is A F is three, and A is also three. Then the four A C is four. A C is four. So how many? One two three four five. One two three four five. So it is a uh, all uh, weights I filled. Next uh, B. So B is a uh, once again B to A is one, and B to E, B to E is four. And B to C is two. B to C is two. So only three entries. One, two, three. So three entries. The remaining are not reachable. Infinitely. C we are going to say C is three. So C B C. I am taking B C is two, and C D is also two, and next C A is one. So I fill this. And uh, degree is three, so three entries are there. Remaining infinities. And D, if I am considering one, two, three, four. One is D to A is one, and D to C is two, and D to E is four. D to E is four, and next uh, that's all one, two, three, and D to F is five. D to F is one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and the remaining is infinity. Now, e, if I am considering, what is the degree? Is one, two, three, four. E, I have to consider. E to f is there, and e to d is there. E to d is four, and e to b is there. E to b is four, and e to three. Next. Uh, E to A is there. E to A is three. One, two, three, four. The remaining is not there. So one, two, three, four. And from F, there are only three. F to A, it is three. F to D, it is also five. F to D is five. And F to E, it is three. F to E is three. The remaining are unreachable. So this is step one. Step one is just constructing a table. A weighted table, which is having the number of rows and number of columns, which is equal to the number of vertices of the graph is having. Of the graph is having. Now let us go for. I am going to select a minimal. Either I can select B or D. Anyone, if you are going to select uh, either B, if you are going to select one type of spanning tree, or you can select D, you are going to get another side. So I am going to select B. So I am going to consider this edge. I am going to consider this edge. If I am going to consider A to D, if I am going to consider A to D, I am going to get another one. So now, after constructing the table regarding uh, the weighted table of this, now how many edges it is having traversed? So now I selected A to B only. Now go to B second row B row. This is also vegetated. Now B to C. C. Now here it is uh, uh, A to D. A to D is minimum. A to D is minimum. And next uh, I am going to get A to D. So from these two rows, from these two rows, A to D is minimum. A to D is minimum. Then I have to get. A to D. So what I am going to say, uh, A to B. I am going to get A to B one. Then A to D is I am going to get one. And the next another one is A to D also selected. D is also over. Now A B and C is not considered. D D to A is over. Next A B is also over. Next uh, among these three A B D, which is going to be D to C is true. D to C we are considering. So D to C, I am just taking D to C. I am just considering D to C, which is true. Then C is also considered. 
So here A is over, B is over, next C is over, next D is also over. So everywhere A, B, C is also over and D is also over. Next B also, C and D is also over. Next C is also 4 over and this is also A, B, C, D is over. And the remaining, so from this which is the minimum, which is the minimum. So I can consider A to E, A to E is the minimum, A to E I am going to consider which is the minimum and we have to select A to E, O to E. So I am going to select A to E, A to E. So this I have to consider A to E is 3, A to E is 3. So E is okay, E is also considered. And here A, B, C, D and E is also over. Now, and remaining E to F, remaining E is also over. I am just removing this. And remaining this, what is the least one is? Least one is 3. Either I can move from E or I can move from A. Anywhere we can consider. So I am going to consider the other one is F. So F is a 3. F is a 3. So I am going to get another uh, spanning tree. I am going to get how many edges it is having? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 edges. 5 edges. So 5 edges, uh, how many vertices it is having? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 5 edges. So what is the weight of this is? Weight of this is, uh, so it is a 3. So 3 plus 3 plus 1 plus 1 plus 2. So it is a 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 is the weighted uh, spanning tree. Or in this way we can consider, or we can. So what is that? Nine, 6, 6, 4 is a 10. So once again, uh, How many edges? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 edges. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. So I am having another uh, weighted tree. Then we are going to get uh, the weighted uh, weight of this tree is we can have 10 is the weighted uh, weight of this tree. So we can get the other weight if you are going to weigh 1, 2, uh, 5, So now we have, by using this, uh, we are having the other weights. Weights are 12. These are not uh, weighted trees, but whereas here we are having lesser weight of this, lesser weight of this. So we can consider 10 is the uh, weight of this uh, spanning tree. So like this, we can uh, construct uh, uh, the spanning trees by using uh, Prim's algorithm, by using algorithm. So with this, uh, uh, step one is going to be tabulated, and step two is we are going to consider the uh, selecting the edges, and next to step three we are repeating the process until uh, number of edges are uh, equal to n minus one vertices, n minus one vertices. Subsequently, we can get a spanning tree. So with this, uh, we can conclude this, uh, and thank you. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.